Good morning. I'm Thomas the Great Hanson. I'm Annette, the even better Hanson. And this is WHS TV Friday Morning News. The National Spanish Honor Society held its induction for new members. This society is for students in their fourth or fifth year of Spanish who are dedicated to learning about the Spanish language and Hispanic culture. WHBS interviewed some newly inducted members of the society to learn more about it. What is uh, Spanish National Honor Society? Basically, it's a society for um, students taking Spanish where we just want to expand our cultural knowledge and our love for the Spanish language. To get in, you have to write an essay and then the teachers also look at all your grades from your past Spanish classes and you have to be taking Spanish next year and you have to be in either four or four honors or five AP. What are the benefits to knowing Spanish? It gives us a different perspective on life and different cultures and it helps you look at different things in different ways, so it's kind of nice. Congratulations to seniors Sean Walls, Selma Babaker, and Brianna Bergenstein, who are all recipients of the Ohio State University's Moral Scholarship. So what is the scholarship you got recently? Well, it's called the Moral Scholarship, and it's for OSU. And what it is essentially is it pays full tuition, and in exchange, I have to take part in diversity initiatives and try to get involved in political activism. I got the scholarship by writing an essay um, about diversity and what I essentially wrote about is how my father is a black man and when I'm with his family the fact that I'm so pale gives me a unique perspective. Tell us about that perspective. To put it mildly, most people that are as pale as I am do not spend a significant amount of time in a predominantly black community. Uh, but I lived in black communities and I've gotten to both understand their culture more and to see some of the problems that they've been afflicted with. I would encourage you to go to what's called the Buckeye Student Leadership Academy, and I think that going there prepared me to write the essay for the scholarship, so if you're looking into that, I would highly encourage you to go. The Science Olympiad team competed at the state level competition in April. This competition was held at the Ohio State University and was the last competition in Science Olympiad season this year. Hi, I'm Patrick Lee, here with WHBS, and I'm here with Jack Wu, Kyle Yu, just kidding, this is hers. What is Science Olympiad? Uh, science Olympiad is like a science competition. You compete on a team and you do all these different events. They span a lot of different areas of science, including chemistry, physics, biology. You guys went to states recently. How did it go? Uh, we placed fifth in the state. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a Science Olympiad competition, but with more pressure to like perform because like this is the one that like counts for like nationals, I guess, and how, how well your team is regarded. Why should people do Science Olympiad next year? Uh, really to learn more about science, learn about the world, definitely. Also to be like part of a great team. It's very supportive. We're, senior, we're all seniors, so we can't do Science Olympiad next year, so we just want to pass on the torch. Congratulations to senior Kate Fulton, who was chosen as Youth Challenge Volunteer of the Week. I volunteer at YC Youth Challenge. It's a local nonprofit organization that sponsors and holds activities for kids with disabilities. How did you become Volunteer of the Week? I just volunteer there on a regular basis. I've been doing it since 2014, so I was just nominated. <laughs> Can other people still get involved? Absolutely. They are always looking for new volunteers just to help out the kids and broaden their span. It's a really good organization. The kids are phenomenal and they really, you give to them, but they kind of give back more to you. You realize like acceptance and the values that they have are extraordinary. Attention seniors planning to attend prom. Your prom tickets need to be signed by your assistant principal in advance in order to attend prom. An administrator will not sign your ticket if you owe discipline, fines and fees, or any required service hours. Assistant principals will be signing prom tickets next week, before school, after school, and during lunch periods. They will not sign prom tickets during class time, including study halls. If you have questions, please see your assistant principal. Check out WHBS TV on YouTube, or on WOW Channel 18, or at and Channel 99. This has been Thomas the Great Hanson. And I'm Annette, the even better Hanson with today's Friday Morning News.